One day Oprah Winfrey was talking to her mentor or maybe her mentor had her talking about wondering what is my legacy going to be like and her mentor was who? Maya Angelou. There's something that Maya Angelou told Oprah Winfrey and I'm going to share with you shortly but in this episode we are talking about personal greatness or personal glory. Maya Angelou actually talked about that subject by saying that you can only become a great at that thing that you're willing to sacrifice for and in talking about our personal glory today we cannot fail to talk about our personal greatness. It is something that you and I need to strive for. And I'm going to be delving into that subject in this episode, maybe in the next several days, and then see. let's see how it's going to pan out. But I think it's a very great subject. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalik. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So Maya Angelou is very instructive in what she told Oprah Winfrey, who was wondering, what's going to be my legacy when I'm gone? And she was thinking probably it's going to be the schools, the primary schools that are built in South Africa and so on. Maya Angelou said in a very wise way, forget about that. Forget about worrying about your legacy. It's going to take care of itself. What you need to do today is to do what it is available with you today, right now. That is what you need to lean into. And that's what I'm talking about, leaning into our greatness. When we start worrying, and I see vanity all over the place. Let me tell you, I see vanity all over the place. I see people largely talking about their death. When I die, I want this. and Bury me here, bury me. Listen, I couldn't care less what you do when I'm dead. I'm gone. I don't want to worry about that time. I want to do what I can do today. If I can do what I'm doing right now, let me do it to the full extent of my glory, to the full extent of my capacity, to the full extent of my ability. Let us not just be steeping ourselves into thinking about what my legacy. And I know this is instructive, by the way. Even us who are coaches, we normally want to want to teach people about purpose. When we want to teach people about agency, when we want to teach people about productivity, what do we do? We ask people to write an obituary, to write something that talks about maybe they are dead, to think about their death, their funeral. And one of their favorite relatives or their friends is actually reading a, a eulogy or an obituary and they are basically reading what these people have done. And it's instructive to, for us to think that way. But we're not steeping ourselves into thinking about where am I going to be buried and so on. We should be thinking about our personal glory at that particular moment in time. And by the way, your personal glory is going to be reflected on that day. And it's, it's actually natural that for the most part when someone is gone, we forget about the bad things that they did and we start googling so to speak on the good things that they were and we know that we're all human of course we acknowledge our vulnerability we acknowledge our messes and so on but we look at people's greatness the things that they did and that's what personal glory is all about it's not about vanity it's not about you know doing things let me tell you you can be able to know you are on the road to personal glory by a vain glorious nudging in your spirit for example, you thinking the day I'm going to buy that car, that will be the day. And guess what? The car comes. 
one way or another uh, by the way uh, as i speak today i've driven or i've owned like i think three cars or something in my lifetime so far but before i could own one it was a dream it's like when that thing happens i would have arrived and guess what the car comes and for a few minutes a few hours a few days maybe a few years you feel good and then it becomes so natural so obvious i mean it's nothing new it's nothing big no big deal about it and you're thinking if that all there is to life that is the vain glorious spirit communicating to you that guess what you are not onto your personal glory your personal glory is not in that particular car and then you think the day i'm going to get that interview the day i'm going to get that promotion that will be the day and guess what the promotion comes and then you're thinking oh lord is that all there is to this promotion i always wanted it and now it looks like it's not something that there's no fulfillment in it there's no satisfaction in it we all have gathered a must life and the life seems so useless at the end of the day it is because we are not doing what is connected to our personal glory when we keep asking ourselves is that all there is to life especially after a major high it tells us that there is something we've done that is not connected to our personal glory so our personal glory is important for us to think about and to actually do and also to look at the end of the end game at the end of life when the curtains are pulled what in the world came out of my life what did i do how did i go about it that's it so our personal glory like we said yesterday has got to do with us challenging ourselves and of course in today's episode we are increasing that challenge we're not saying that you challenge yourself and i know it's okay you can challenge yourself that i'm going to buy myself a car by the end of this and what you do here in between that time is actually growing your capacity so so much so that you you've dared yourself and you've actually done it it's good but now today in the episode we're talking about the level of challenges that we give ourselves are we giving ourselves a challenge just to better ourselves just to amass things there's a there's a place for that but we are seeing that these things are vain glorious the things you can touch the things you can see the things you can feel that you amassed for yourself they do not lead to your personal glory they are good they are okay but they don't lead to your personal glory that's why after you have that money in the bank you're thinking is that all there is to life that's why william robbins i think school william robbins i can't remember the other name a comedian from britain killed himself a millionaire killed himself that's why that guy from wall street just jumped in front of a train and killed himself because he lost a few millions it's because his personal glory he thought it's in the things of amassing things in life i'm reading a book by a guy called dan lock who is talking about different types of people and he's talking about uh, i think the category the archetype of people in, in regards to wealth he's talking about the king and the queen these are guys who are never satisfied when they are on the throne and now they're looking around they're looking at the next kingdom thinking that the, the next kingdom is going to come and fight them it is because these things are vain glorious your personal glory it is going to be directed towards something that you do that makes someone else's life better and that's where your purpose comes in your purpose is always going to spell to be spelled in one word others what are you doing for others i do believe at the core of my being that all of us ambassadors all of us have been sent actually all of us are deliverers to deliver someone else from something that they are facing either creating things new impacting this world contributing to this world but we are ambassadors not for ourselves but for other people that this world when we exit in this world it is a better place than we found it maybe we've created things we've started programs we've build houses for build schools whatever it is we've done we've started new initiatives that have changed the people's lives and so on and so forth so reading yesterday about a ugandan doctor who started the abc the in the place of fighting hiv i mean he's world renowned that is personal glory because he's he's in love with medicine and he goes and starts innovating things towards that area so can we if we are increasing our personal glory let us move one step ahead instead of looking at demanding things of this life 
let life start demanding things of us what can we create what new thing can we bring on the face of the earth there's nothing wrong with us getting a car getting a conf- comfortable house and getting some nice phone and nice videos and you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with that but that doesn't contribute to our personal glory our personal glory is coming to us to the degree that we are making other people's lives shine the more I make you shine the more my personal glory increases because at the end of the day that's why I am on the face of the earth in the first place I'm not here to eat and sleep and die i'm not here to pay bills i'm here to shine my light so great that others may be able to see their own glory and the more i shine my light and elevate other people's lives the more my personal glory increases in its own magnificence so in a nutshell what am i talking about in this rambling that i'm doing i am talking about us concerning ourselves with our personal glory we said yesterday that uh, the most dubious reputation of the human being is that they don't live up to their expectations they don't live up to their potential but other things other living things like plants and animals and birds and fishes they do and worms actually have you ever seen the ant actually we have what you call the ant philosophy by jim ron the ant doesn't have a leader a ruler but they move in ranks and they create stuff and they're storing up things for the winter and so on and they are worms for crying out loud but the human being eats all that comes his way and spends everything can we start concerning ourselves with our own personal glory and start thinking about how glorious we can increase because at the end of the day we are the crown of creation and God has made us to shine ever so brightly we should look at this as if God is looking at us and is proud of what he has created God is so excited about Lawrence he's so excited about Mary so excited about Ethan so excited about Beth so excited about Vivian so excited about his crown of creation so much so that he wants them to have their own personal glory being exemplified so when you see the writer writing that is his personal glory because that's the gift and the talent that they have when you see the husband doing the things that he's supposed to do and the father doing the things he's supposed to do he has his personal glory shining when you see the man who is waiting on others in a restaurant doing with a smile on his face that's his personal glory and i'm going to continue extrapolating this message of personal glory but today i just wanted to share one aspect of it that the tangible the visible especially the selfish things they don't contribute to our personal glory the opposite is actually true the things we do for others making a smile on someone else's face putting a smile on someone else's face in our own subtle ways it doesn't we don't have to create a foundation to do it we don't have to build a big building to do it you can anonymously send food to someone you can send air time to someone you can give you know our personal glory is directly proportional to how we are making someone else feel that they are needed they are wanted and they are better in this place because of your existence that is how our personal glory is going to be shining and so tomorrow i'm going to delve deeper into this subject even as we continue saying this but I, I, i'm going to leave you with one quote Someone told us that if you wanted your personal glory to increase this is someone called Asajid Habtold whatever that name means maybe I pronounce it wrong but this is what they say they say that the starting place for your greatness is desire the desire to succeed to serve others to keep on going no matter what that's what I want you to do that's what I want to do for myself so that our personal glory increases tomorrow we'll look at it again bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring